Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Jules Juliet. And on today, you guys, we are um decluttering our room. I got in like a stress anxiety. So if you guys don't know, I get an anxiety attack here and there. And especially when things are just like, I, I guess my anxieties are like little things, I want to say. So I'm going to stick with, whoa, whoa. I'm going to stick with little things. And one of the things that triggers me the most is my room being a hot mess. And... You guys might be like thinking, um, well, why don't you clean it on a daily? I try to, but then I need to start moving stuff. And when I move stuff, things go haywire. Um, my lovely boyfriend ended up buying me these flowers. And this is what triggered my anxiety attack. It's not because of the flowers. It's because of the vase. You guys, yo, like, can we just say, like, there's no stems and it's all water. And it's like, how am I going to flower these? look they're beautiful yes they are very very beautiful and it's shaped as a heart and it has a high hydrania i don't want my hydrangeas to die because of me not being able to take care of them and that's one of the things that trigger my anxiety guys i know it sucks but hey it is it's something that i have to live with and it's just like little things that get me especially when i don't have room for like big things like this because again my room's a mess hot mess hot mess hot mess hot mess hot mess so with that being said i decided to go ahead and clean this whole thing out again and like put everything where it belongs because one thing is for sure is that i'm a hoarder i'm jules think about subscribing let me know in the comments i would love you guys if you guys are hoarders but look i don't really wear makeup that much anymore and i have babe and i have a lot of stuff that i need to get rid of and i have a lot of old makeup and a lot of new makeup that are still sealed up in the packaging like why do i have them out here like why 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 you know like so we're doing a clean up and i'm putting these liners on because i hate the fact that i have to clean them every freaking time you guys it's a mission and i have not been drinking a lot of water anymore so i filled up my gallon not fully i just filled it up to that line right there and let's get started you guys and i have a new zit what should we call it look at this it's like super huge like ah but it's okay we're gonna be using one of those hero patches if i could find them and no this video is not sponsored by them but maybe one day they will be sponsored and i'm gonna be using this one this one is a mighty patch one i need to buy the other one it is only six patches so i have to use these you know carefully i guess you could say look at them they come in like a special package how cute Ooh, these come in like a special package okay let's get that got it and then we're gonna put it on our forehead it has like little pokey things oh is this press for 15 seconds voila whoa okay in camera you could straight up see it but in real life you could hardly see <laughs> oh my god in camera it's like super hd like what on earth never mind i'll take that back you could straight up see it but it's fine we're gonna be home all day anyways so let's get started and watch some youtube as i start lining up and cleaning this drawer out now i decided to reorganize everything because i started using more skincare products than makeup and my first drawer was all about makeup but in reality i love skincare now so i decided to switch up and put my first drawer as skin care and i'm over here just laughing up watching youtubes watching youtubers and you know this is my life this is what i love to do it is the next day and the pimple's still there and it's time to make my favorite smoothie as you can tell we had banana ice milk and avocado literally perfect avocado i only use half when i do this smoothie and i actually learned this smoothie thanks to brandon taylor and honestly this smoothie is my favorite one out of all and of course you need some honey to sweeten that baby up but it's fast easy it has a lot of protein and it has a lot of good nutrition which is something that i love and this is me messing with a pimple which you should not be doing and drinking my smoothie i watch youtube while this i always watch good mythic morning when i'm doing this and of course i have my water right next to me because i need to stay hydrated something that i stopped doing is drinking water and i used to drink a lot of water back then in days ever since your girl quit her nine to five jobs I've been driving around LA. Now LA is beautiful and it's ugly and it's weird and it's funky. And honestly, there's a lot of beautiful houses out there. It's crazy how architectures work and how people build stuff like this. And Laura Canyon is my go-to place. I love the drive. I love the view. And I do do it by myself for safety precautions because there's crazy drivers out there. Dream big and never let your dreams go away. So let's start off by saying I literally just drove through the mountains. 
and it was mind-blowing scary but mind-blowing fun and I have to go pee now I don't know how did I make it here to Ventura I just took one street and it navigated me here so if I keep on going straight, I don't know when it's going to end, so I'm not doing that anymore. You guys, I have like the biggest zit on my forehead right here. Literally. So after I went to CVS and go pee pee, I went on this hunt to find this park. Now it is in Lower Canyon Runs, I think it's called. And there's so many houses and the drive here is so crazy. It's only a one-way street. And honestly, like, the houses are beautiful here up in the mountains. I'm not a person who would love to live in the mountains. But just think about that view when the sun's going down or the sun is rising. I think that is a beautiful view to watch. And I'm just driving along trying to figure out how to get there. You guys, they were giving tickets out in this place. And I was like, uh, so I guess this part of the canyon is private. I talked to a police officer and she was just on the saltier side. So then I drove around to find parking because all she said was, look at the signs. Look at the signs. And I was like, Dan, you can't just tell me that there isn't parking here for me not to waste my time. I started driving around and just driving around and look at all these houses. Look at how weirdly they are built, how weirdly they are made, but yet how beautiful and each one is very unique. There is no duplicates on this house. All right, guys. So I've been driving for 22 minutes trying to get into Runyon Canyon, Lauren Canyon. And let me just tell you, there is no freaking way that I could get into it. The officer was freaking really like... I don't know, she was like, read the signs, read the signs. Yeah, but all the freaking signs that you, that you can't park from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So it's like, where can I actually park? And, um, you know, she was just like, well, just read the signs. So there's no, literally, there's nowhere that I could park in Canyon. So I'm just going to go ahead and go back to West Hollywood and call it a day. Because there is no freaking way I could park. And I really wanted to just take a picture of the view and the city. But I guess this canyon is more like for people who live there, you know? It was And it says that I'm two minutes away. See, Runyon Canyon, me, it literally just says that we're, oh shit. It literally just says that we're like two minutes away. But I don't know how to get there. Definitely, if you're thinking of coming here, don't come with low gas. Literally. Yes, I came in with one fourth of a gas, and because you are going up a hill and down a hill, you're gonna have to push that gas pedal. So, um, do not come in with one fourth of a gas tank. Another thing that I noticed is that there is actually bus tours like here, which is crazy because I would have not expected. That means where I'm currently driving, a lot of famous people live here. Mind blowing, something I did not know, and. I passed like a couple of them when we're going up there, but we gotta bust it out because we need to go fill up gas. And we made it out alive. Now to find the nearest gas station, Vamanos. All right guys, so we have made it alive out of there. Oh my God, it was so much work. Honestly, yes, it's beautiful. There's some houses that are like super freaking nice, but honestly, the drive was just a hectic drive. What's up guys? We're experiencing a big zip moment. Look at this gigantor. Like my skin is breaking out. But it's pretty much because I'm getting my glory days. So right now we're working on a painting. Voila. Honestly speaking, I don't really know where I'm going with this. So let's just have fun and doing it, you know. What's up? I'm Jules. Usually I do pour over paint, but today we're just doing this. So let's see how it goes. I'm just throwing paint on a canvas and we're going to see how it comes out. I want to feel bright sometimes. I just feel like I'm always so angry. But we want to feel bright. And on that note, it was not coming out beautiful. So I decided just to do a pour over. And I had no idea what I was doing. I was just going one color after another color after another color. But as you can tell, all of them are bright. Again, we're trying to do bright colors in here. If you have not tried pour over art, try it. I think it's more relaxing than anything else. And look at this brightness. There's a lot of pink going on. But the more I move it, blue starts popping up. Literally blue. But I mean, I think it still came out pretty freaking dope. You guys, honestly, painting... Oh, you guys, I can't stop staring at my face. Look at this. Mm. It was doing so good. There's something that I just changed on my... um makeup real skin routine which i think i'm just gonna go back to what i was using you know if something doesn't work we gotta change it we got to change it and on that note i will see you guys in my next video i hope you guys enjoyed this i love you guys thank you for subscribing and let's keep on pushing we're gaining more and more and comment down below if you guys want me to do any style of videos i'm down i love you guys bye